The topic of this screencast is exercise and the effects on muscles. This topic may be found in chapter 6 of your textbook. This screencast was designed to help you achieve the following objectives. Describe isometric or resistance exercise and the effects on skeletal muscles. Describe endurance or aerobic exercise and the effects on skeletal muscles and other organ systems. Physical exercise is any bodily activity that enhances or maintains physical fitness and overall health and wellness. Exercise helps sustain muscles and keeps them healthy. However, all exercise is not the same and can have different overall effects on skeletal muscle as well as other organ systems of the body. Exercise falls into two general categories, resistance or isometric, aerobic or endurance. Resistance or isometric exercise involves moving immovable or nearly immovable loads for brief periods of time. Resistance exercise requires repeated, short bursts of powerful muscle action that overloads and stresses muscles. Because muscle activity is relatively brief, most ATP is obtained from creatine phosphate and glycolysis. Very little ATP is obtained from aerobic respiration. In response to overloading and stressing the muscles, the skeletal muscle fibers increase the number of contractile filaments in the myofibrils. This causes the myofibrils to get larger, and as the myofibrils get larger, the skeletal muscle fibers themselves increase in size, and this increases overall skeletal muscle size. There is also some indication that there is a, at least a small increase in the number of skeletal muscle fibers as well. So muscles, skeletal muscles, the organ, enlarge in response to resistance exercise mainly due to larger myofibrils which leads to an increase in skeletal muscle fiber size. But there is also a small increase in the number of skeletal muscle fibers as well. There is also uh, enhanced ability to obtain ATP from creatine phosphate and glycolysis. So in response to resistance exercise, skeletal muscles grow larger. They also grow stronger, meaning that there is an increase in the, in the maximum amount of tension that they can produce. And they can also obtain more ATP from creatine phosphate and glycolysis. Aerobic or endurance exercise involves sustained low-level muscle action. Examples include aerobics, jogging, biking, and swimming. In all of these activities, low amounts of tension are generated and sustained by muscles. Because muscle activity is prolonged, most of the ATP is generated by aerobic respiration. When aerobic exercise pushes the limits to how much ATP can be supplied to skeletal muscle fibers by aerobic respiration, the result is an increase in muscle endurance and resistance to fatigue by increasing the amount of ATP that can be generated by aerobic respiration. One of the changes that occurs as a result of aerobic respiration is increased blood supply to muscles. New blood vessels literally form, which increase the supply of blood and oxygen to skeletal muscles. Now, an increase in blood supply can only get you so far. Uh, you have to have enough mitochondria to utilize the increase in oxygen delivery to skeletal muscle fibers. So also what occurs as a result of aerobic respiration is there is an increase in mitochondria. So now there's an increase in supply of oxygen and now an increase in utilization of that oxygen for aerobic respiration by a increase in the number of mitochondria in skeletal muscle fibers. Other organ systems also benefit. The lungs become more efficient in delivering oxygen to the blood. 
metabolism in general also becomes more efficient. There is an increase in muscle coordination. In addition, there is a reduced risk of arterial sclerosis or hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaques in the arteries. There's a reduction in the risk of hypertension, uh, diabetes, and other chronic diseases as well. So there are many benefits to engaging in aerobic exercise. Now let's review the objectives of the screencast. Describe isometric or resistance exercise and the effects on skeletal muscles. Describe endurance or aerobic exercise and the effects on skeletal muscles and other organ systems. This marks the end of our discussion on muscles.